uh, you will be given uh, an hydrate a hydrated salt we have different chemicals see blue, green color and we have maybe the blue color maybe white color all these salts they have water they have what so you are going to find how much water they have you're going to find how much water they have so the practical is called uh, determination of the percentage of water in hydrated salt so this is the objective what is the objective to determine the percentage of water in hydrated salt okay. let's say I take this chemical how to do this one step number one take your Bunsen burner and light it where's the light for? keep your face away light it okay and then you have to uh, heat the watch glass you don't use gloves it's dangerous see just burn, just little bit heat with the fire so that any water will go out and then you heat it with the uh, fire again the beaker you can see a lot of water going out from that one because you can use your tissue to take the water first if that is better if there is more water you can just use a tissue so it will help you to take the water there it's not that okay fine after you heat after you make sure every water has gone out and then turn it off and you have the beaker and the watch glass you have the beaker and the watch glass now you have to take the mass of this one in the mizan can you go to the board, please? Okay, it's not, uh, you know, it's not very hot. Okay, just keep, uh, switch on, make it zero, this one, and keep it there, and take the mass of the beaker <coughs> and the watch glass. Okay, can you write it? 160. 160 point. MashaAllah. It's one one six zero point zero zero. Okay, now what you do is you have to add chemical. How much chemical you're going to add? Around two gram chemical. How much? Two gram. So what we do, take this one, cover out, add chemical, around two gram. So you can add from here little by little. How do you know two gram? Because you can see the reading here, is it? Yes. Increase the reading by 2. Increase the reading by 2. two. Okay. So, add this chemical. So, when the reading has increased by 2 here, switch it close, this one, and take it out. Now, you have the beaker and the hydrated salt. And put the watch glass back. Now, you take the reading. Now, you take the reading now this is the reading of beaker hydrated salt and the cover is it okay can you write it 160 to 162.10 okay. around 2 gram okay okay now we have to calculate w3 now we have to calculate w3 here w3 is what weight of what hydrated salt w2 minus w1 maybe they will not give you it's not your problem look at here so we know the beaker and beaker watch class and watch class you have to find the hydrated salt is it so which means w2 minus w1 so this will be this one minus this one will be 2.10 so you have taken w1 w2 w3 now we go for w4 what is w4 weight of the beaker which class? Other one is what? Anhydrous salt. What do you mean by anhydrous? Without water. Uh, without water. Only the salt, is it? Say. Now what you have to do is, you have to take this chemical, because it has salt with water. So you must remove the water. You must remove the water. How can you remove the water? Now you go for dehydration. So light the burner again. And keep it under the wire, go safely. 
and bring the chemical there and just leave it. Now you may see the glass is very clean and the cover is also very clean now is it and now what will happen the water that is joined chemically joined to the salt now it will start coming out it will start coming how do you know water is coming you can see it will be cloudy is it it will be cloudy so far it did not come out it's going to come now If the fire is coming too much, so I reduce it a little bit. Just wait, I'll show you the water. 